Hey everybody, welcome to Bandai Golf on every NES game. I'm Slider, and as always, I'm joined by Manga. Hiya. So apparently Bandai was a big enough name back in the day that just putting Bandai in front of Golf would make it exciting. That's my assumption. Even Mario couldn't make Golf interesting, okay? <laughs> Don't even try, Bandai. <laughs> So, were we all excited about playing a golf game? Are we ever? We are never ever. So we can do the regular tee or the back tee? Handicap? No. Stats! Ooh, scorecard. Exciting. Yay, so many numbers. I'm excited already. So the weird thing about, just a quick thing, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. See how the icon there is, like, going back and forth? Yes? I'm making it go up and down, but, uh, it going left and right like that is just to showcase that it's on player one. Which is the stupidest looking thing I've ever seen. Uh, okay. Anyway, I'm just doing this to show off the... Golf course, I guess. That what that is? To be fair, real life golf courses are pretty ugly too. Yeah. You know. I swear, a top down like perspective like this just make me always think this is just a JRPG. Like if we shoot the if we hit the ball into the woods, are we gonna get attacked by monsters? It's an unusually boring JRPG, but I mean, that would actually make golf interesting if you had to fight a monster to get your golf ball back. <laughs> yes. It's like, oh, we sliced it, and it's been eaten by a thing with too many jaws. You're gonna have to smack out its third eye with your- No, don't use a word! Use an iron club to fight that class of monster. <laughs> You'd think he'd never played golf before. <laughs> this, this is already a- This is a great idea. Actually a good concept for a game. Yes. If I knew how to make games, I would make that game. I'm certain I've heard someone do the joke of golf RPG before. I haven't actually heard that joke, but I like it. Actually, to be fair, uh, the the Game Boy Advance Mario Golf game did kind of have RPG elements a bit. Not not the cool ones that you're thinking of, but more like the stat-based ones or whatever. And it actually had like a story mode. It's really weird. What's the story to golf? Anyway, you're using a putter, and... I will say, this is accurate enough of golf, in that... Try to use the putter, and... Unless you get the exact power right... You're just gonna... Go past it forever. <laughs> Triple bogey on hole one. That's a good sign. I will take your word for that. I have never ever been a golf person and the, mo the most I've heard about golf in recent years has been the whole thing about Donald Trump's golf course, so I have no good associations for golf. <laughs> I do slightly more. Like, uh, there was, there was actually a very brief period of time where, out of boredom, I would watch some golf. It's not even like one of those things I found was that interesting. I would just watch it for no reason. <laughs> Can't even tell you why. Like crappy soap operas, it was just on TV and you had nothing better to do. Yeah. That's an unusual looking sand trap. Say this for the game, the music isn't totally hateable. You tell how permanently scarred by 1942 have been that I have to pay close attention to the music every time to go, does this music make me want to die? No? Good. 
It will never be as bad as that. It can't be. Nothing is as bad as that. I think I hit it too much. Hit it way too far. The thing is that usually in a golf game, even if you don't know how the clubs work exactly, they'll give you a good idea of how far it'll go with each club. This game does not do that. So it's just a guessing game. The best kind. And of course it bounces off it. Oh, come on! Really? <laughs> I got question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm clearly the master of the golf. The master of the golf. Yes. Okay, this is where the game gets annoying. For some reason, there are times when I press it to, like... You know, obviously, it's like every golf game ever. You press it once to get the power, and then the second time to get, like, the accuracy. Literally every golf game ever seems to do this. But for some reason, the second one doesn't always seem to actually work. Like, I press it, and just nothing happens the second time. So then it just, like, misses horribly. Like, I'm literally pressing the button, and only that time did it connect. I don't know why. The random cruelties of the universe. How was I hit it too far? Out of bounds. Honk wheel. Honestly, as someone who's actually played a decent amount of golf games, this is worse than all of them. <laughs> it's a mix of nothing and bad perspective and hates you. That's how I describe it. That sounds like golf in general to me, honestly. But yeah, the layout is just... Weird, I can't figure out exactly what I'm looking at at any given time. That shade of green really doesn't help, it's too bright. So especially when all there is to see the ball is just a single white pixel. Half the time I'm like, wait, where on this screen is it? Anyway, I just skipped over to the next hole. This time we got a double bogey, hooray. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I even miss the stupid uh, golf game that they have. They might still have, I don't know. At uh, my parents' bar. <laughs> because at least you have like the cool, like, you know, the track wheel. That's actually so much fun. This is just... nothing. Yeah, it doesn't look like very much. It is nothing by the standards of a golf video game. Think about that. It's... it's softly beeping nothing. That really is quite pathetic, actually. Like, even by the standards of a golf game. You know what the standards of just golf in general as a sport? <laughs> this is just sad. It really is. Some people paid full price for this game when it came out. Think about that. God, people paid money for this? The poor bastards?
Well, it was the late 80s. People thought Milli Vanilli were good. Hey, this is the excuse I keep hearing from people my parents say is like, look, it was the 80s, everybody was doing a lot of drugs. That excuses all of our poor life choices at buying terrible video games and voting for Thatcher. Question mark indeed. That's just the the question mark is my actual emotion when I'm looking at those cards. It's like what? What? Also weird thing is that you notice on the top screen. If it'll show it again. It shows the layout in like a two dimensional way, it's weird. That is really weird. Yeah. I don't really get it. Anyway, at this point, I just got annoyed. So I just said, screw it. Sh go as far in the water as possible. I don't even care. Just see how far out you can send the ball. I sent it off screen and it said it was out of bounds. Which is true, it is out of bounds of the screen. That was a golf game. That was boring even by the standards of golf games. Wow. I've... I can't even. There's just nothing to that. So many games have been forgotten to history for very good reasons. That's one of them. The fact that Bandai is now stuck being the less... the lesser half of the Namco Bandai brand I blame partially on this, on putting their brand on this game. They never recovered. No. Let's all move on with our lives now, please. Yes, do anything else other than look up this game. Stare at a wall for a while, it'll probably give you more. And more inspirational, certainly. Yes. Play actual golf. At least you might get a bit of exercise no. for like your arms. Don't do that. <laughs> Nobody's that bored.